Around one in five women will experience a mental health problem during pregnancy or in the year after giving birth. The 30th of April to the 6th of May marks this year's UK Maternal Mental Health Matter Week and York Mind is providing information and advice to those affected. It's hugely important that everybody um, at any time of life when they feel that they may be, feel, may be behaving in a way that wouldn't be what they would see as normal for them um, access services and the voluntary sector and, and York Mind in particular are, are a good place to come for that first um, quite quick introduction. We can usually see people quite quickly. It gives you a, a chance to be able to talk about how, how you're feeling and then we're able to signpost appropriately. So it may be that we say at that stage, you know what, we really want you to go and see your GP um, or it may be that we'd want to contact the community mel mental health team if we were really concerned. But it might be that we say, yeah, we'd like you to come in, uh, to one of our groups and we think you might benefit from that. Some women may go through a brief period of baby blues, which affects 85% of new mothers. However, 10-15% to 15 develop a much deeper form of depression, known as postnatal depression. It, it can be very difficult because I think it, when, you, when you have a baby, it tends to come at a time they're often you know, much longed for children um, and, and society really expects this to be a wonderful time for them. So there you have, you're, you're, you're now the perfect family unit. Um, and actually it is a major life change when you have a child so even if you have a child that is particularly good at sleeping and eating which is not going to be the same for everybody it is a really life-changing moment for yourself or for, for your partner and for other extended family members if you feel something that's been that is going on over a period of a few days so when you first have a baby there will be that period between about three and ten days where will you get what was always referred to as the baby blues anything that feels more severe than being a little bit emotional, anything that feels as though it's going on for longer, it's always worth having a chat with someone. Even if your first part of call is having a chat with your family and friends and saying, do I seem actually okay? Because sometimes you're the last person to recognize it. Also really good for family and friends to be able to look at somebody else and think, actually they don't seem quite as happy as I thought they might be. This seems to be beyond just being the general tiredness. York Mind have seen a huge amount of engagement recently. I mean, we've seen a real increase in the numbers of people coming forward to talk about their mental health and weeks like this reduce the stigma even further. And even if we get just a few people within York and the surrounding areas who think, actually, that's really resonating me with either myself or with a friend, then, then weeks like this have really done the work that they need to do. With charity organisations like York Mind supporting those in times of need and Awareness Week spreading important messages and advice, there is hope young mothers will receive the vital support they need. Rebecca Quarmby, that's TV.